in this video I want to show uh, the properties from a simple short wave receiver that I've made. It's also in my book Retro Radio. This receiver works from 2.3, hope you can read it, up to 6, 6 megahertz. So it doesn't have a very big bandwidth, but okay. Uh, the whole circuit is made uh, in a classical way. A local oscillator that's here, an antenna coil that's here, an antenna amplifier that's here. You can't see it, but here there is a transistor that amplifies the radio signal that's coming from the antenna. This is the EF amplifier here first EF amplifier stage, the first EF amplifier transformer, the second EF amplifier transformer is here. Uh, here there is a battery that's charged and here there is an audio amplifier from approximately 1 watt. Uh, you can see it ok. And this is of course the loudspeaker. Now I'm receiving a Chinese radio station and the reason that I want to show this receiver is that it has some flaws and uh, I hope to make these flaws a little bit visible. Uh, in the first place the local oscillator here is not very stable. And inside here you see all kinds of capacitors. And all capacitors have uh, a certain temperature sem sensitive uh, phenomenon. So when they are getting hot the, the capacitance changes and that means also that the frequency from the local oscillator can change. Uh, here you see a few capacitors. This one, for instance, is not very temperature stable. This one is also not very temperature stable. Uh, it's a mica capacitor. And from 220 uh, picofarad and due to aging the capacitance varies and the capacitance is slowly um, fading away from 220 to let's say uh, 50 or so or 100 I don't know I have to measure it. These capacitors here this is uh, an aluminum air capacitor and you can turn the uh, hood from this capacitor on and, and off and that changes the capacitance. This is a good capacitor and has a good temperature um, sensitivity. No, not sensitive for temperature changes. And this capacitor also, it was from Philips, uh, from an old tube radio from Philips from the 50s. It also doesn't have, uh, it doesn't suffer from temperature changes. So a good quality capacitor. This one also, and this one also, it's from Wima, it's a German factory. It also makes very reliable capacitors. So we go back to the local oscillator, and I found that when I, when I was tuning to small band radio stations, let's say 3 kHz or so on short wave, um, the VFO slowly changed the frequency and that meant that um, I couldn't hear the radio station after approximately a quarter of an hour or so. So I had to tune in again by means of the coarse capacitor or the fine tuning capacitor. 
So that's one lesson. Use uh, good capacitors in a local oscillator from good quality. Uh, the second uh, issue is this, that this coil is mounted horizontally, horizontally in the local oscillator and the antenna coil is also mounted horizontally and that means that these two coils can couple electromagnetically and the shielding here is made from tin plate uh, didn't prove to be very effective so these, this coil can couple electromagnetically with this coil and that means that the when I put up the high frequency amplification too much here with this uh, potentiometer the whole circuit starts to beep so we get an oscillation and I uh, can't uh, predict on which frequency but there is an oscillation and um, that's not good so there are a few ways to um, solve this problem you can shield the uh, antenna coil here with, an, uh, with a shield that could be a uh, tin plate that's the best uh, the best material to do this to do this but that also means that when you shield the antenna coil with tin plate the Q or the quality factor from the antenna coil goes down so it gets less sharp uh, in receiving all the different frequencies between 2 and 6 megahertz uh, and that's also the reason why I made the whole circuit inside uh, 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 multiplier multiply wood box here you can see it this multiply wood doesn't affect the frequency and when I mounted for instance this antenna coil uh, close to a metal surface the quality factor from the coil goes extremely down and that means that you don't receive uh, weak radio stations any longer so that's the reason why all is mounted in wood um, so that are more or less the flaws from this radio by the way you can receive uh, a lot of radio stations especially broadcast stations very well with this radio but um, for small bandwidth stations, let's say uh, with a 3 kilohertz bandwidth, uh, it's a little bit a problem and you have to tune in uh, constantly manually here with the fine tuning capacitor to uh, receive the radio station, for instance a, a radio amateur or a fax station or a meteo um, station properly. And in another receiver that I've made, uh, these problems don't occur. But uh, I use this radio to uh, show what can happen when you want to make uh, a superheterodyne uh, shortwave receiver with simple resources. Let's say radio from the 50s like it was made in the 50s or uh, the 30s so it works properly but you must be a little bit a radio operator and uh, keep your hands on all these knobs to keep receiving the radio station properly during a, a longer time